what attracted you to the program Students Assisting Business? So um, when the opportunity was uh, provided to us, I looked at the, uh, the way that this program wanted to help people. Um, my educational year starting at Tacoma uh, coincided with uh, the whole COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, when the university reached, uh, reached out to like people who want to work alongside the university and some businesses to help other small businesses or dentists or anyone who is struggling with the pandemic to uh, help them overcome the obstacles that was happening during the time, I saw it as a good opportunity. And uh, that kind of um, was inviting because it was a very good goal uh, to help and learn at the same time. Uh, if I want to like summarize it, I would say it's not just a win-win opportunity. It was like a win-win-win. Like uh, me as a student, I learned to like basically do some research and um, go into the marketing part uh, while the company we were working with uh, basically could sell and like provide as like a, um, like a help to other small businesses who were struggling and we are helping them too. So it was like a three-way winning for everyone with this program. And that was like the main thing for me. I was like, I am interested. Beside that uh, during the time I was working um, in a restaurant and I could see that we were struggling to open up again, especially through March and uh, like the months after that. So I was like, I kind of have a little bit of experience in dealing with what is happening. And not just I can learn more and apply it in the restaurant, I can put my vision from what is happening um, with whole uh, change from like inside dining to delivery and like online services uh, for just our restaurant to work and apply it to other restaurants, which we did basically um, with a little bit of the checklist we were trying to make at the very beginning of this program. So your restaurant work, you're like an assistant manager already at a restaurant, right? Yes, during the time I was um, like the basically a substitute manager or like a manager but basically i was working mostly on the floor and during the times they needed me to do the management i would do it uh when i was actually it's good to point when i was getting into the program um we were kind of laid off because uh, the restaurant was struggling to open back up and they could not use the whole force uh so i saw like if our restaurant could benefit from opening back up faster and bring people and workers back into it, other restaurants can do it too. And uh, that was something I was hoping for during that time. They need XYZ. That was the company that you worked with in the Students Assisting Business Program. Um, tell me what it was that... Uh... So uh, they need XYZ. Uh, we're a company that they had a very good vision to... They saw the need of like small businesses such as dentistry, gym, restaurants, and um, anyone who basically were closed by uh, state orders shut down and they wanted to open back up. And they needed some uh, two major like parts to open up. One of them was the checklist, like the major uh, do's and do nots from like guidelines that CDC and other officials were providing that basically every business owner should know in order to open up again or like to maintain open. And uh, we were like, the company was thinking about, we should start with that. We should like, when we approach um, each of these business owners, uh, we should have the resource to be like, hey, we know that you're struggling to open up and you don't probably, maybe you know where to look at, maybe you don't, but we at least did the job like halfway for you, like to some certain points that we looked at the CDC, we looked at major websites uh, and we broke it down to you into like three uh, pages of like paper that tells you what to do to like open up again and what to do to stay open. And um, we didn't just do it on paper. We were thinking like, this is something that continuously has to be done. So uh, from the very beginning, we were thinking about the electronic versions and the QR codes. So as it gets updated, through different stages of this pandemic, you can just like point your camera at like a QR code and get the latest um, instructions to stay open. That was the first part of this um, program. The second part was basically approaching uh, those business owners and tell them, hey, if you need like a P90 
PPE provider. If you want like N95 mask, K95 mask, if you want like a sanitizer, and you don't know which mask is okay and not, which sanitizer is okay and not, we have a provider, we have a company who have who like have this in their inventory and they're like, uh, I want to say like legit products, like they're good to go and they're good to work with. Uh, so if you want, here's an email, here's the link, here's a discount code and just go check it out and see for yourself. They have like minimum uh, low quantity order. You can just order as like just one box if you want. And they were pushing really hard to have like a shipment under 72 hours. Uh, so that was the thing like the company was trying to basically seize the opportunity to help people based on their needs during the pandemic. What was the response from the business owners um, that you talked with? At the beginning, it, it ch- I'm going to say it changed during the time. Um, like at the very beginning, they were uh, more eager because a lot of them were like opening again, while uh, toward like the end of the program, basically a lot of them were open and they didn't need our help. Uh, but they're, mostly the responses were positive, but uh, to the point that we started to approach uh, business owners to like, hey, we have this material, if you want to just go at the website and take a look at it. I can say the majority of them were um, kind of like not interested because they were like, we're open, we don't need to like uh, get it anymore. <laughs> we're okay and like this sort of stuff. Anyone that we could help, we uh, basically followed up with an email or connected them to the uh, like representatives from the uh, provider. So, you know, you're a, a very experienced uh, for your age. Uh, you know, business person because of the management that you've been involved with. Um, in terms of that, uh, what did you learn from this experience in the students assisting business program? You have to act like very fast sometimes, like especially to see like the opportunity. It was not in a way to try to push people to, hey, buy from us. It was like, hey, we want to help you. Hey, we're a task force working with a company and the University of Washington. And uh, we know what you need. We know like the problem you have and we want to help you. Um, I, but the problem was it, it was a little bit late and it's not, uh, it's not anybody's fault. It's that the preparation took time a little bit. And by the time we were able to like uh, contact like, uh, for example, uh, the business owners, um, a lot of major retailers for example had like masks and everything so it was a little bit difficult for us to uh, compete with them what i learned basically is that um, yes you have the vision you saw the opportunity but you got to act fast you got to work in parallel instead of just working first like on the checklist and uh, try to be like let's prepare the first step and then go for the sales Um, i learned like you should look more into the future like you should know the steps ahead and do it in parallel just act fast and you can sell much faster it's kind of funny that you would say that uh, because in all of my business classes that i teach i tell all of my students that uh, your value is your ability to predict the future Mm -hmm. and uh, the vice president of costco international and i were talking about that very thing and he says yes that's what we have to do every day and it's very difficult Mm -hmm. did you find um that you gained some skills and uh, learning how to predict the future in this experience? Like predicting the future, um, I would say the companies, people, and us, we had like a very uh, base vision. I would say what I learned or skills that I learned was uh, the marketing skills. Like, uh, yes, I work in a restaurant and people come to a restaurant, I talk to them, try to uh, help them with whatever they want, but it's different when you try to approach something more technical and something that is like, uh, I want to say like a little bit more difficult than just working in a restaurant, especially like talking to them on the phone and try to convince them. And you have like a much shorter time to just have their intent, uh, like their, like their focus. Like you just call them and like, Hey, I'm from the university of Washington. I know you're busy probably working with like patients. That was my experience with most of the dentistries that I was calling. And I had to be like precise, fast, and um, like convincing. And I think I, the very uh, important skill I, I attained from this whole program is the marketing part. Like 
I'll say I talked to like more than 100 dentistries and like by after 100, I was fully comfortable just talking to them and like tell them what I'm calling for just very quickly and fast. And that was like amazing. I was like, man, that that changed for me. The, the, the fear of talking um, like marketing over a phone that like totally were gone for me. Was uh, the uh, the internship worth it to you? Absolutely. It was like something I would say, like, I think I mentioned this somewhere else that it kind of should be like, not mandatory because I'm a student, but like, it's definitely something that, uh, especially people who want to follow up on marketing uh, should definitely dip their toe in. Uh, my major, basically, I'm, I'm coming from engineering to business. So this was an opportunity for me to just get into different aspects of uh, business beside analytics, like just marketing, just um, how to talk with people, how to like talk with your stakeholders. And uh, it, I, I think it was like totally worth it. And um, I, I would say like, I kind of enjoyed it because not just you have gaining the experience, you know that you're like helping people and helping businesses. That's something that like, it's worthwhile.